here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. And I've had three ticks on me already this year. It's all fun and games until someone breaks a leg. You can see how much chunkier the British bloodlines make the sheep. So let's get started. Okay, we got little Spartacus here. He ran up for his bottle. He can't quite reach the bottle holder with the other four there. But that's okay, we can hold him until he gets a little bigger. Okay, so nowadays the, it's the white dorset lambs that get let out into this paddock over here. We used to rotate this front paddock with Suffolk and Dorsets, but now we got the little guys in here, so we're gonna leave them in a little longer before we let them out. Spartacus will like that, but they're not ready yet. So we're, we let the white ones out. They get to play out in this paddock. And we'll see how many of them came out today. Got quite a few of them out here. And the Suffolk ewe lambs that used to be on the other side of the barn are at the back of the barn. So I'm gonna go open up their back gate right now and let them out into a different runway. Hi. Hi buddy, hi. You're one of the bottle babies. Hi, you're not a bottle baby. These guys are still with their mom. Hi, you don't look like you need to be with a mom. No. But this uh, Dorset group had a wide range of ages. So some of them technically we could wean now, but others are still a little longer uh, away. They're younger. So we just, we wean by the youngest in the group, not the oldest, so. Hi, big boy. You are a very handsome one. Oh, you wouldn't be 137 again, would ya? <laughs> I always pick him out. Okay, let's go see what the suffix think about being let out into the runway. Oh, there's May. That big second one there that just came to the front. That's her, she's still in here. And these are the Suffolk girls who were up front. Their brothers were removed. And these are all the females. There's some really, really nice girls in this group. Really liking uh, these stocky long girls. Hi. You're just spectacular. Would you guys like to go outside? You look like you'd like to go outside. Let's open your gate. Here they come. This is their first time back here. A new little paddock. There's not a lot of grazing in here. 
but there's a lot of space to run around. There's a runway. There's an old bale they can play on. They can visit the dorsets across the fence. The adults are back here grazing. The thing I'm most concerned about when I come to see these guys in the field is wood ticks because the grass the grass is really long and I've had three ticks on me already this year. I just hate them. So I'm gonna flatten down the grass around here a little bit. The sheep don't seem to get wood ticks and I think it's because we deworm them and that covers them for things like that. Because I've never ever seen a tick on a sheep. Seen lots of them on the dogs. But we'll see what they do. Ben, don't you don't need to be hurting them. They they just want to explore, okay? It was nice uh, for you guys that answered my um, little poll there on what you like to see in the videos. Of course, I don't have 100% control on what is being shown each day because it is a daily vlog basically and what presents itself is what presents itself. So it's not like I'm scripting videos as they come up once a week or something. But uh, let me know what you guys really prefer and so I can try show things like that a little more. And I thought it was kind of fun, so we might do more polls and quizzes and stuff in the future just to get some input and get some more interaction with you guys. Some more back and forth instead of it just being me talking to you. I didn't even realize this old bale was back here, but they discovered it right away. It seems to be quite the hit. You know what they say, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a leg. a group with Hannibal's lambs and you can see how much chunkier the British bloodlines make the sheep. All of our sheep have a little British in them but Hannibal has more British than the rest of them and it really passed on to his lambs and uh, sometimes the British ones can look a little coarser or more rammy but 
we bred him with some really beautiful fine youths and the cross is uh, really, really nice. Really, really liking this group of youths. I imagine there's gonna be a lot of keepers from this group. confused because the Dorset lambs are back in this corner looking at the Suffolk lambs and they're, and they're crying so the m moms aren't used to the lambs crying from this corner and they're thinking that they're back in this group but they're not they're over the fence <laughs> Anticipate this is going to give them hours of fun that I didn't even consider before. <laughs> She might have guessed it. <laughs> My favorite part of the videos is watching the sheep. But I'm here in person, so it's twice as fun. But look at her. She's got to be a keeper. Even though I'm on the farm like every day, I really don't get to spend much quality time with the sheep. So that's why when there is time where I can just sit and watch them running around and stuff, for me that's, that's the enjoyable part of things. I'll just take a little quick peek at how Spartacus is doing. some of the girls who came in to eat. One thing about the outdoors, they do love to run and play out there, but as soon as the heat comes in, they'll all come back inside the barn. And you can see there's a whole bunch of the drinkers right now, because it's much hotter out there than it is in here. But we'll leave the gate open and they're free to play as they choose outdoors all day long. One of my favorites in here is the ewe lamb with the chewed off tail. Remember her mom chewed her tail off? <laughs> oh, and they've discovered that there's a runway behind here. And where there's a runway, there literally is a runway. Are 
Are they having fun, Ben? Is that fun, you guys? <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? It's a little hot. Yeah. It's a little hot. Are they having fun, Ben? Well, I'll let these guys play in here. And we'll go see how the lambs in the other barn are doing. Come on, Ben. Okay, now to let this group out, including Peggy there. Hi, buddy. Do you want to go outside with your white girl tag? You're a sneaky one, macho. You guys want to go outside? These guys are used to it, so it's not quite as exciting as it was for the other ones. Yeah, you'd swear she was an adult. She's a big girl. Hi, you look like an adult too. You're a beautiful sweetheart. There goes Peggy. She's off grazing too. She doesn't look pretty with the way she walks, but uh, she's not missing a beat. When you first let them out, they stick real close to the barn. But once they get used to it, they spread out over the entire paddock area. And this pasture here is probably about uh, three acres, maybe a little more. Meanwhile, on the other end of the farm, you can see a whole bunch of dust flying up over there. That's Arnie putting the last of the corn in. Little misters followed me out here. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Explain to them why you don't eat. 
I've never had a sheep that doesn't eat before. But uh, he does like the grass, it seems. So hopefully he'll start uh, eating, but he definitely prefers to hang around with me than he does the other sheep. And I mean, we've had plenty of pet lambs and stuff like that, but never one that's acted this way. And there's the rest of the lambs in his group. They're all having a good time. I thought if I walked out here, he would uh, join the group. But no, he just stays here. Oh, sweetheart, what am I gonna do with you? You're so silly. I don't know what to do with you because you don't eat like a regular sheep. Oh, baby. You're such a baby. But you're not a baby. You gotta be independent now. There, you see, he is grazing a bit now. That at least is a good sign. Hi, show little mister how he's supposed to do it. Hi there. You're not having a problem eating, I can see that. This is a group of Suffolk and Dorsets. But like I've said many times, when they're hanging out together, they do tend to hang out in their breed groups. All of these are Dorsets right here, and the Suffolk are farther out in the field back there. See them because of the grass. There, little mister just walked out with them now. But you can see how much smaller he is than the others. He's wandered quite away from me now. He's in with the group over there, head down, grazing. Two Suffolk join the Dorset group here. Someone looking for some leaves. I think has a little bit of a harder time seeing. She's really woolly.
there's one of our Suffolk rams heading up this way. Hey, buddy. That one's a Suffolk eel. Hi. You look a little different. And you're a little bit smaller. There's Ernie working in the fields across the road. This is the last of the corn in, so he's very, very happy about that because he stresses out about the crops quite a bit. So we'll leave these guys out in their pasture now as well. Today, it's the weekend here. It's um, May 25th, I believe. And we're just going to have a lamb day. Come in. Hey, 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 where are you going? Get back. Come on, Ben. Come on, guys. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on, guys. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Come on. Ben, come on, Ben. Come on, guys. Get inside. Come on, Ben. Max, don't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those are, the, those are the three triplets right there. One, two, three. Well, I'm just finishing up here tonight. And there is Spartacus. Well, that's it for another video. Thanks for watching.